Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls. We're picking off immediately where we left off. I haven't really done anything. Um, in the previous episode, we went around and just killed the Hydra, picked up some stuff, and uh, got the broken pendant for the DLC. Now, before we access the DLC, there's a couple of things I want to do. Uh, one of those things is two areas, and then we'll go do the DLC. The reason why you want to do these two areas beforehand is because of uh, progression. Obviously, but progression, progression, fucking um, just, just one of them you kind of absolutely have to do to do damage. One of them is just completely optional area you don't need to do whatsoever. Um, the Great Hollow is not required for anything. Uh, you get some items and that's pretty much it. Um, but before recording this video, I remember a very, very important factor. The Rite of Kindling. That's right. So now I'm kind of in a bit. Oh, you can buy the master kit. And he sells crystal weapons. Uh, but as you can see, before that, he sells the full golem set. Smo set, Orenstein set will be here for sale instead if you kill him instead of Smo. Obviously, you have to go to NG Plus and do that. And you. Well, well that is a shame, well. but no matter. Come back again. No. Uh, so now I'm like, okay, do I do the DLC first? before doing the three big areas, or do I do the three big areas before doing the DLC? And ultimately, man, I honestly decided to do the three big areas before doing the DLC. For two reasons. One, the DLC is brutally fucking hard in its bosses. There's three main bosses, no, four, I'm sorry. There's a boss immediately when you jump in, there's Artorius, there's the optional dragon uh, boss, and there is, I forgot his fucking name out of the top of my head, the black dragon boss, and then there's Madness himself. Now, these three of those are extremely difficult. Obviously, there's a ranking, however uh, you want to determine which boss is harder than which, but the hardest bosses in the game and all of Dark Souls are within the DLC. The top three are within DLC. None of the other ones are remotely, none of the base game uh, bosses compared to those guys in any considerable way. So that's where I'm like, okay, do we just jump into the DLC, knock that out, and be gods for the rest of the game? Because there'll be literally no difficulty whatsoever in any other place. Or, or, do we jump uh, right into the deal uh, do we do everything else do the entire game the only thing that would be left for us to do would be uh, the final boss which obviously is when uh, spoiler alerts if you don't know then, you know it's your own it's your own damn fault um, that's the place for me. Why did I say that? that was mean I'm sorry I'm just gonna it's gonna be a long day <laughs> ran into that uh uh that and Orlando fucking incident stone in my head so we actually have to uh, run back because apparently we don't have the work point for whatever reason I don't know why I, I couldn't honestly tell you and I couldn't find out why we didn't have the work the war uh, the warp point the warp for uh, the princess not the princess chamber the chamber for the Spider, the spider, the spider queen covenant. I call it the pyro covenant. Tomato, tomato. Nothing too difficult. These enemies were a challenge to us at one point. They're still a challenge to us because, you know, enemy damage doesn't go away. It's all the same. The only thing that does get easier is how fast you kill them. Nothing goes too easy. Here. Yeah, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing everything else in the than doing the DLC. Simply because you wanna be very prepared for the DLC. There is no way around it, man. There 
really is. So, one other thing why you wanted to talk to Pyro Senpai is because he goes hollow. We'll be fighting him here in a second. But let me just. She's right there. Cool. We'll be actually doing uh, the Great Hollow right now. Okay, I'm just going here first. Because I want to talk to this chick. Hmm. Amir, un I am Quailana of Isolith. I am not often revealed to walkers of flesh. Are you too one who seeks my pyromancer, like Salomon? Say yes. Yes, of course. Very well. But to pursue my pyromancy, are you prepared to do it? So, she will be the one you can buy more stuff from. She buys Great Fireball, Firestorm, Fire Whip, Combustion, Great Combustion, Undead Report, Fireball. All these are amazing pyromancies. The big, big daddy one is the fireman, the, the Firestorm pyromancy. No luck. Hmm. Well, but do not... Uh, so what we actually want to do is spend all of our souls, every single one of them, to upgrade our primates. Uh, Because we want to be OP as all living. And because this is a part of the game, this is the point in the game that, like I said, your stuff gets checked. Beyond this point, besides the Great Hollow, including New Londo, your stuff gets checked very, very quickly. So it is very, very important that I'm actually not. Let me keep a couple of scores. Uh, the one thing I actually want to get is. Um, to as a firestorm and great combustion. And no, don't actually. Now go. Lest my time spent on We should be able to just get two thousand more souls. This should be more than one. Yeah, oh, yeah. See this tab? Uh, upgrade the pot, py this pyromancy flame all the way up, which is super expensive. Um, and you can actually ascend it. And then you do, oh, now, give you this amount of damage. Yes, right. uh, you do have to spend a oh, stupid amount of souls to get it all the way up. But pyromancy in Dark Souls 1 is the most overpowered type of. Magic, miracle, whatever you want to fucking call it in the game. Firestorm being the catalyst to that OPness. So, the OPness. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna run through. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we're gonna run straight through the Great Hollow and do the Great Hollow. It's a fairly small area. Um, like I said, there was some preparation we needed to do before going down there. The only the real preparation for it is get purging stones, and that's pretty much it. There's really not much, not much to it. Uh, but like I said, you want to do the Great Hollow after you get the Lord Soul, or it is at 
absolutely in hell to go back up. So much so that you would want to resist me. Talk to Sigford. Excess his dialogue. Um, but can you spare a few? Yeah, I can thank this knight of Well, get a shield. This too. <laughs> okay. Nothing too crazy. So you want to get your pyromancy flame up to 10, I think I already said this, uh, up to 10 before he, before your pyro senpai goes hollow so you can unlock her. If you don't do that, you're locked out until you become, uh, until you go into New Game Plus, if I remember that. If I really hope I remember that correctly. I'm saying a lot if I remember that correctly because I'm completely going off memory here, my friends. Uh, I definitely probably should have planned out this entire Let's Play a little bit better, but eh, it's fine. It's my first one. I can be forgiven. I'll just do better next time. Alright. The tree gave us souls. Whack. Oh, I didn't get it. That's okay. Alright. Now. Rest. Couple of things with this area. I do not know how to maneuver this. Not one bit. Not one. Not one bit. I recommend two things. Run a light weapon. Put on. Trial different paths. That is what I'm gonna be doing. If you just gun it straight to the bottom, this area is kind of a joke. Uh, but there is some very, very good items to get here. I don't know how to jump towards certain. to a certain. Um, oh, damn. Fuck. I missed that crystal lizard. quite scared. Yeah, there's actually no way. Did we get that? Actually, no, there is. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Just a little bit. It, like, the maneuvering of this area is fucking weird. That we're in, to be completely honest with you. Um, just gonna. Do I have the cat ring? I don't have the cat ring. <laughs> no! Like I said, I don't know how to traverse this area properly. I know you come around here. And die. Oh my god, I'm still alive. There is just going to be a lot of that for me right now. Because I, I could never get everything in this area. Like, on genuine shit, I, I could never, honestly, honest to God, get everything in this area. Like, I couldn't, because I just had a maneuver. And I always thought there was a hidden wall or something, but there wasn't. It's really just, like, leaps of faith and stuff like that. 
and with leaps of faith come opportunities to get really good items. Uh, you don't actually need... Uh, you. I don't think you can get stuck here. Okay, so there we go. Glory Ring! That is the Stamina Ring, which is the shield that we're using right now. Basically, it's our interim ring form. Not worth it one bit. Um, in my opinion, it really isn't. So, yeah, we can fall down there. I don't want to do that. Oh, dude, like, okay, we want to fall down here. Are these guys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Uh, do I have anything? Uh, apparently not. Okay. Uh, we're just going to put the stamina ring up. It does help. So there's a crystal. Fuck. Right over there. Look at that. It just... Like, I don't see any way to get up there. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna fall right here. Don't move. Get right Titanite Chunk. This way. here plunge attack uh i don't think yeah this just leads this way i am looking it is quite interesting to put this way. some of the more you know you can get pretty rare items early in the game but you definitely need to do a bit of like you need to look up a guide how to properly do this area because pff, what the fuck do i know yeah, I'm a veteran. I've been playing Dark Souls for quite some time, and I'm actually very good at the game. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look like it, right? But I'm actually quite skilled. Um, yeah, whenever I don't... Really? Am I locked down? This area? What? A little stump! Oh, I thought I was dead. Is locking me out. Really? Wow, really? What kind of shit is that? Can't you just walk over it? What, what the fuck is that? That's... Kind of annoying. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we can... Just power through. I wanted to fall down more. Because we could reset. And we'll just keep going till we till we die. Then uh, at the very very if once we reach the bottom we didn't get everything, we're just gonna run back down. Uh, so a couple things. There's a whole bunch of these guys. I do not recommend a heavy weapon. I recommend a fast weapon to kill these guys efficiently and quickly. You do not want to fight these guys. Okay. So a couple of things. If you fall right here, get this. You actually have to fall multiple times. I read somewhere that some of the rings that boost sorceries are meant for fireman as well. Oh shit. Okay, so... 
Okay, we killed everything in there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm actually gonna run back up and see if I can get that item. We die, we die. It's kind of like whatever. Is it this? It's it's that. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Sorry about that. I'm drinking uh, some tea. All right. This is literally all there is. You know, it's kind of like, it's pretty straightforward. Get some of the items. If you can't get the lizards, you can't get the lizards. You kind of have to live with that. Can I get that one? Yes! Haha! <laughs> we got that one at least. Let's uh, fall down here. Come out this corner. Fall down here. Oh. Uh, and. There we go. Get that. White Titanite chunk. These chunks are very, very important, by the way. To upgrade certain weapons all the way up. Come here. Here, blue titanite chunk. Ooh. Yes, you can actually make this. If you can get that one, you get that one. I believe it's just a chunk. We're just gonna power through this area. So I believe that's everything. If I die, I'll attempt to get that item again. But. If I don't get it, I don't get it. Oh, that was a piece of crap. Ooh, 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 ooh. All it takes is cursed once, man. I think I have a purging stone somewhere. Attempt this getting this item one more time. If we don't get it, we don't get it. And we die. Oh, we're still alive. What? Definitely should have died there. Not gonna not gonna complain over a W. I tell you that right now. Uh, we're gonna make our way back up a little bit. Uh, make sure we got everything. Uh, actually it looks like everything, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, let's fall on this on these mushrooms. These guys do actually a lot of damage, by the way. Don't be fooled by their small, cute demeanor. Oh. Okay. They do. Okay. I am, like, genuinely confused. This area has always been a mystery to me. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we're dead. We're dead.
I hit my fucking knee. <laughs> you didn't hear it. <laughs> I have no idea how to get that. I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh my god. Alright, we're just gonna power through this area. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> this area. It's, it's so trippy. It, it's, it's, it doesn't suck. It's definitely a fair area if you just know how to maneuver. Like, if you just know it, you it's super easy. Let's see if I can't get it. Oh, I got it! I actually got it. Haha. -ha. Ooh, that's actually a slide. Look at that. Mm -mm. Gotta love that. Gotta love that, man. You... <laughs> It's a bad, definitely one of those areas where you just kind of go for it. <laughs> what a good day. <laughs> uh, there is that item, but impossible jumps are impossible jumps sometimes. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep rolling with it, taking our Ws where we can get them. And honestly, man, I'm just gonna run traditional uh, soul fashion. If you can't beat them, run past them. Uh, or if you're doing an area to get everything, just run past it. This is definitely one of those areas. Definitely no shame in doing what I'm doing. If you want some of the items, get some of the items. They're some, they're, they're, they're chunks, they're slabs. They're definitely some of the more rare items in the game. Uh, but I don't know entirely how to do this area properly. And even if I did, the amount of times I would just fuck up. Holy shit. We're just gonna power through. I don't even care about my souls. Let's just go right through. Ash. the music man. Just have to. We're gonna clean up and do this area. The, the rest of this area is not difficult whatsoever. It's a hydra. Uh, you can't actually walk into the waters. It is always deep. But the arch stone, the arch trees, the arch trees that hold up the world. Majestic side. When I found out this area existed, then I, I for sure needed a whole nice time to play through. It is such a, a such a gorgeous looking place. Over there. It is so beautiful. So as you can see, there is another hydro. This one hits a lot harder. Oh my god. Uh, definitely same strategy as last time. Uh, kill the Hydra properly. Uh, you do actually want to kill this Hydra. I believe he dropped something. Anything. Uh, that's actually... But, uh, some heavy armor. Maybe it's... It's going to be about the same episodes as everything else. Uh, and what's great about it, we don't have to actually make our way back up anymore. We can just warp out of here. Come on, Hydra. You're fucking up.
There we go. He has more health. Dude, this Hydra's taking a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Oh my god. Okay. Uh... <laughs> if this takes a lot of tries, I'll do cuts here and there of me dying. scale. Let's finish up this area. 
This video is going way too long. Way, 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 way too long. This definitely is a lot easier without that big ass snake monster. introductions to anything in my life. A dragon himself. One of the last remaining So the dragon skills are used to. Uh, you can come back here and uh, cut off this tail. And he will actually not get pissed at you, which is awesome. <laughs> You get uh, for your <laughs> for your the dragon gold sword, which I have to say is fucking awesome. But it, it requires 50 strength, dude. Oh my god, we're not even we're halfway. I need to at least be 40 strength in order to use this weapon. That's 15 levels away. Get it. There you go. Uh, but we're done. <laughs> items we didn't collect, items we didn't collect. I'm uh, so, in the next episode, we will be going off to New Londo. And doing New Londo. Before going to New Londo, we are actually going to get some items. That we need for new uh, from that um uh, hollow lady, um, and then going to do new one because that will allow us to upgrade to plus fifteen, and that's going to be a lot of fun. And once we get to plus fifteen, we'll, once we get one weapon to plus fifteen, we will upgrade the rest of our armor and whatnot. Look very much. Like uh, but with that being said, guys, I thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.